These are pieces of wax that we used and we use in our classes um, to show people what beeswax look like. Look at this piece of comb here, how it's darker here than at the top. And it could have been stained by darker honey. Uh, and that's probably what I would guess it to be. Some people say it could be where they had brewed. And uh, that might be a possibility too. But it looks like it's just been stained from some darker honey to me rather than brood area. Hey! <laughs> some of you have been commenting and asking me, are, is making these vlogs a lot of work? And you know, not really, but yeah, kind of. And what I mean by that is, I like doing it. It's not that... Um, time consuming as you might think. What's time consuming is setting up everything. Like if you want to make a, you know, to make this scene right here, I'm having to put the camera on top of this, on top of that. It's not tall enough. I got to put something underneath that. And it's just setting up the scenes, I think, that take more time. Um, because I don't hold, I don't have anybody to follow me around and hold my camera for me. So I have to put the camera where it goes and, you know, so that's what takes more time. Okay, so hey, look at this. You know what this is? It is a green drone, D-R-O-N-E, comb. And, and so it's drone size cell. That means the cells are larger for drones. Let me get a piece that has worker uh, cell. Hang on. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, here we go. Here's a piece of natural comb. It has a variation of size cells, but if you look, you can see some smaller cells toward the outside, and they, they've probably been distorted with heat, maybe. But if you compare the size cell of this green drone comb versus the size of worker cell, you'll see that this green drone comb has larger cell size than this comb here does. You see the difference? Okay, so what that means is this becomes a mite tool to control our mites in our hive. Your hives have mites. I don't care if you can't see them. I don't care if you've looked and you know you don't have them. You do have them. All bees, all beehives have mites. Varroa destructor. And so this is a way that we can trap our mites without using chemicals. Let me tell you how to do this real quick. YouTube has to be fast when you make a YouTube video. Here we go, ready, fast. This is a green drone comb. It's green so that you can know what color it is. It's one piece plastic. You go to your hive in your deep brood box. You take one of your frames out and you put this in its place. The bees begin to draw the wax out, making it look like a full comb of wax on both sides. Once the wax is drawn out, the queen measures the cell size with her two front legs and then she knows not to fertilize the egg she is about to lay. And when she lays that not when she lays the unfertilized egg, it is a drone, a male bee. Mites, the Vora destructor, prefers the male uh, pupa because they know they can stay inside that cell longer, three days longer than a worker bee. So it takes a drone 24 days to emerge, 21 day on a worker. That means the mite can lay more eggs in a sealed cell of a drone. So since we know that mites do that, we can put this in our hive. The colony begins to lay a lot of drones and the mites jump inside those cells just before it's capped over for the pupa stage. And at that point, when this frame is capped over, full of drones and now mites, you take it out of your hive, you go to your freezer, take out the wedding cake that you're not ever gonna eat, and slide this in your freezer and let it freeze for two days. One day might do it, but two days for, will do it for sure. It will kill all the drones, but it will kill all the mites. If your colony needs more drones, they will certainly raise those. You take this out if you want to open the wax up, but you don't have to. You can let it thaw out, put it back in the colony, and the bees will uh, remove, they're very good house cleaners, they'll remove all the dead drones with those dead mites on it. 
This is a very effective way to control Viral Destructor, the mite, in your bee colony. You should use this. Okay, so somebody has stopped in uh, to our uh, store today to pick up some things and uh, I decided to uh, ask him a few questions. His name is Dale and no. So Dale, I was amazed that you were able to catch that uh, uh, hive by just putting a box out. Was it a was it a full size hive or a ten frame hive or what? It was a I believe a ten frame hive. Did you have two deeps on it or just one? It was just the single box, yep. holes drilled on each side, about a half inch. Oh. And then I hung it up, say about this high, oh. on a fence, and had the lemongrass seed oil on a paper towel inside of a Ziploc bag. Mm -hmm. And there was probably maybe four or five frames actually in the in the box. Oh, and then so it had space between the four frames, like a yes. ten frame box. And so what happened, uh, how long did it take once you put that in there for the bees to, for a swarm to land there? I'd say within the first week. Oh. And then I was surprised because then about a week later they were all gone. Mm. And then I would say within a month they came back and quite a few of them. You think it was the same swarm or a different swarm that came in the second time? My guess is this is the same one, but I'm not sure. Mm-hmm, yeah. Was it as big as the first time? It was much bigger. Oh, the first yeah. time there was only just a few, and then the second time was actually them coming. So the first time you saw some come in, how many do you think there were? Maybe under 100, 200 maybe, mm. at the most. Yeah, and then how long was it from the time you saw the, the first few until the whole bunch came? I'd say about a month. Wow. See, I, would, I, would, I thought for a minute that it could have been scouts. Okay. that were scouting and then they they finally you know convinced the whole swarm to come in there but that's a little bit long i think to be scouting. it may have been sooner just my time of checking it yeah interesting wow so that's rare for people to put a hive out there and catch a swarm like that you know but okay. there's a lot of people today that want to try that because they feel like you know that that i'll save money not buying a package yeah and uh i think your lemongrass oil really did the trick yeah, I think so. Uh, attracting it. So, how do you feel now as a beekeeper? You feel like it's going pretty good? Are you learning about it? I'm learning quite a bit. Yeah. A lot to know. Yeah. Feel like they're going to make it through the winter? I'm hoping. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, thanks. That's a cool story.